careful, don't fall down. <laughs> Sorry, that was such a mom thing. I'm repainting the island. We're not gonna have popcorn ceilings. Black is one of my favorite colors, so black. Oh, hi there. Uh, uh, what am I doing? I'm repainting the island. Um, so, it, let's back up. I don't like the color. It is, I like the color, but I don't like the color. Um, probably want to know how I got here, right? So, let's go back to past Jen and uh, I'll show you what I did to get here. <laughs> and then while I'm painting this, you can catch up. And then when you're all done catching up, well, then I'll see you back here and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Guess what we're doing today? I'm so excited. We're gonna paint this. I I have been wanting to paint it for so long just to slap on some paint just so I can see it. I don't know about you. I'm a highly visual person. I I have to, I have to see it. I have to, have to, have to, have to. It's like it's in my brain. And I got it. I got to do it to get it out. So today we're gonna paint. We are gonna paint using Lyle's Bar Cabinet Furniture Paint. I get this at Lowe's, and it's going to be in the color wrought iron. So if you don't know, Lowe's or Home Depot can always color match any paint. I don't have a Benjamin Moore near me. So the next best thing is to take the paint color that I want and go to the hardware store and have them color match and put it in the type of paint that I need. So I'm gonna just hold this up so you can screenshot it. There you go. So you have all the information you need if you want this color, if it turns out good. I don't even know if it's gonna turn out good. I've painted wrought iron in the office on the wall and I love it. I love it. It's just a perfect moody black. Moody, muddy, kind of dialed down black. It's not in your face black. It's a soft black and I love it and I can't wait. So I've already went ahead and prepped all of the cabinet I caught and I also went ahead and filled in all the nail heads with some um, putty so it's all ready to paint the inside of the bookshelf will not be painted I like that stain it matches the floor it matches the drip ledge and it matches the uh, ledge in the window the windowsill so that's gonna stay but this will come out and we will paint it. Should I have sprayed this before? Probably. But right now, currently, it is February and it is 30 degrees outside. So, and gonna snow. So, we're not gonna spray <laughs> at all. It's not even remotely uh, good enough to uh, spray. So, we're not gonna spray. We are going to use cabinet and door rolling. One other thing, one other caveat is this is wood. And sometimes wood has tannins in it and so it will bleed through your paint. Now, this is enamel and it's not supposed to have any bleed through and it has not yet. Um, on the cabinets on the refrigerator cabinet I did not prime that cabinet whatsoever and it's white and if you guys don't know 
white shows everything <laughs> when you paint. So that not having any bleed through or any tannins come through tells me that I'm pretty safe not to prime. Now, can you have tannins bleed through over time? Let's say in a week, in a month, in a year. Yeah, you can. Um, and if that should happen, I will just prime that and I will repaint over it. It's not a big deal. But we're just going to go in on it. We aren't going to prime it. If anything, if I feel like it needs something, I'm going to just spray it real fast with shellac. Um, shellac comes in a spray can, um, clear shellac, and I'll just kind of spray it really quick um, and do a fine mist, and that stuff dries in about five minutes, so I don't have to worry about dry type. We've got a sand prep work. Prep work is the king. Sand, wipe down, paint. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. Comment down below if you had an island, what color you would paint it. I'll give you a second. <laughs> I bet you guess I would have painted it this color anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Black is one of my favorite colors, so black. Sanding time. Okay, I think I will spray it down with shellac. Even though this was made with the same stuff as the refrigerator, I, I'll just spray it. Why not? Some, some insurance, shall we say. So I'll go around and spray this with shellac and the uh, 2x4 that I made the frame and the legs. And then we'll be good to go. Well. Clear, shellac, and a spray. And for those who are worried about me spraying this inside the house, I have a DIY ventilation system. Um, I got it off of a DIY wife. Um, she does her spraying in a room she has made this like. Um, here, I'll show you. It is a box fan, and then on all four corners are some uh, furnace filters that kind of helps us with when we work inside the house it kind of helps us kind of um, I call it cleaning the air but really quick spray plus I have you know it's 30 degrees I do have uh, the windows open behind you so don't you worry <laughs> So as I'm stirring the paint, uh, I think it's only fair to give you some updates that we did not film. Um, number one, you'll see the uppers that we hung. I filmed this a short little segment, but um, I figured We'll just kind of update you as we go. So, okay, well, um, I have to go down a little bit. Do I need to go up, down? Um, go like a little
It does need to come up, so I want to have to go up. We hung the uppers. We have one over here by the refrigerator cabinet that we built. And then we have this one here in the corner. No, it does not meet up with the corner of the wall. And that is by design. Um, we're gonna have some shelves there. But it is hung to be three inches away from the corner of the stove. Well, actually, it'd probably be better if you just held it and I get the screw in. So there is a method, there is a placement um, that we hung those upper cabinets. And then this one over here to um, the side of the window. I don't know if it's your right to left, my right or left, but I don't know. So that is what we did. Plus, when I was at work, Joe did something. You want to tell him what you did? Did those lights. He didn't just do lights. He had to rewire lights. So I appreciate him very much. He had to cut holes in the ceiling and he had to rewire and redo things electrically <laughs> just to hang these two lights. They are a little on the bright side. And right now he has to repair where the old light was. Yeah, the old light was kind of weird. And like hanging out in the middle of the side of the room, not even in the middle of the room, it was in the side of the room. So he has to repair the ceiling with this wonderful popcorn ceiling finish. By the way, if any of you have ever thought about putting popcorn ceiling on, or popcorn finish on your ceiling, don't do it. Just, just say no. Just say no, boys and girls. It's not, it's so hard to repair and it like flakes off um, but we're not going to scrape the ceiling and, and replaster the ceiling we're not doing that so whenever we have a ceiling repair we have actually got a method so yes you can go out to Lowe's or Home Depot or any of the big chain stores you can buy this spray on can stuff that lasts ridiculously little amount and you pay a ridiculous price i mean it's like it's the cans are really expensive and they only last a few seconds it's ridiculous and it doesn't cover that much and it doesn't look that good so you're trying to get the texture um the can stuff just didn't work for us so we found out if you just take some uh, regular mud and smear it on kind of thick, and then you go and you take a wet paper towel and you dab it across it, you can actually match fairly close to the texture of the ceiling, enough that when you get paint on it, it blends in pretty good. It actually looks a whole lot better than when you go out and you buy the spray can stuff. That I don't like the spray can. <laughs> so that's our method on repairing these uh, wonderful popcorn ceilings. In our forever home, in our next forever home, we're not going to have popcorn ceilings. Right? No. Not at all. <laughs> Unless it comes with it. No, then we're scraping and we're just oh. starting from scratch before we even move in. Doing ceiling repair work on popcorn ceilings. Oh, you're missing it. What's the matter? My dribble. All right. <laughs> I can't do this sometimes too. 
Not on YouTube. <laughs> uh, we are so uncouth. <laughs> Is that your special touch? That's my special touch. Why and did they put pop? Why did they do that? I, feeling? I, well, the reason why I think the is reason why is so that it, so that it hides the seams and the seams, and so it hides it hides things. It makes shadows and dirt and whatnot. And, uh, I think that's what we do. All right, I am all stirred. It looks like light gray, but it really will dry um, darker. I'm hoping. It dried dark on the wall, so I'm excited. I think so it's just one paint. Okay. You paint. Actually, yeah, I didn't see that. Mm -mm. You did a good job. Ready? Looks a little gray. I think it looks a little darker on camera than it does in real person. Um, I sure hope it darkens up because in the office on the wall, it's pretty dark. Have faith in the process. Have faith in the process. Right? Have faith in the process. You know what, guys? It's just paint. If it's not the right color, if it's not the right hue, I'll just paint over. Have faith in the process. Have faith in the process. Maybe you are just trying to get that house mortgage paid down so that you don't have to continue with the people who are encouraging and has to do with flipping furniture. Drop them down below in the comments. We hope you guys are having a great new year. And I'll see you on the flip side. All right, you guys are up high. You are in one of the cabinets that we have. Uh, be careful, don't fall down. Sorry, that was such a mom thing. Um, while we're waiting for the island to dry, I think we need to put back the door faces and the doors back on. We might as well. And I do want to um, replace the drawer, um, what, what do you call it? The drawer, drawer glides. I do want to replace the drawer glides. However, um, and I want to do that before the countertops come in, but putting the drawer faces back on, that's not going to interfere with that process. I think right now, I think I say, let's put the drawer, um, the doors and the drawer faces on the on the white cabinets. I I say let's put them on so it can start looking like kitchen again. Um, countertop update. We are we picked out um, a countertop from the Home Depot. We did shop around and we found that that was the best prices. Now with Home Depot. Like, uh, they run a special every couple of weeks, either 20% off of uh, your higher cost slabs, of course, um, or it's like a free upgrade or something. It's, it's, it's weird. But either way, they do it um, every couple of weeks. They flip-flop back and forth between that um, sale promo. 
we happen to get it at the 20% off time. And that's kind of what we wanted to do um, to hit it at that point. So we picked out this countertop here. Let's see. Uh, this is what we picked out and they will be coming out, I think, next week or the week after to measure. I wanted to get all of this stuff done before they came out to measure because once they install, I don't want to be uh, installing any cabinets or painting any cabinets or anything like that. We will have to do backsplash after they come for sure, but... Um, I definitely want to have all the bigger chores done, like painting the island, building the island, obviously, um, painting the island, and then the drawer glides. I'm gonna get those big items done. So they will be coming out to measure, and we will be getting countertops, and it will be finally looking like a kitchen. Oh yeah, um, it's been a lot. But what's going to make it look more like a kitchen, this coming up here in about five minutes is putting the doors and faces on. So let's get doing that. And the paint is actually darkening up. Um, I am liking it more and more once it gets a little bit darker, that light gray. Um, although it's a good color, it's just not the color I was going for. So I pretty much know where the doors go, but remember I put them in little spots and I cover them up with painter's tape. So when I spray them, I will know where they go. Sink. Right. I mark the X to the top. video uh, riveting I'm sure <laughs> so now you know why I had to repaint the island the island it just it wasn't the color I wanted and you know what it's just paint you can just paint it over and I chose to use the one hour I think. cat butt I chose to use the one hour enamel in jet black. Excuse him. <laughs> the one hour enamel uh, jet black um, from Wise Owl. And this is the paint that I used over in the coffee bar that I originally painted. Yes, it was originally black. <laughs> and I loved it. But I was just too afraid that it was gonna be too dark over there. And I'm glad I kind of switched. Um, but that doesn't mean that there's not going to be black over there. It's just going to be in a different element here coming up shortly. When I can find the right thing. Um, I am on the hunt for the right wallpaper. Yes, you heard it. Heard it right here, folks. Wallpaper. Even though... I am a product of the 80s and there was wallpaper all over the place and trying to remove the wallpaper was awful, awful. But I'm willing to do that again on one wall at the coffee bar. But I just haven't found the right wallpaper yet. So stay tuned for that part. <laughs> that will be coming as soon as I find it. Anywho. 
The island is all done. First coat is done. I do have to do a second coat. I gotta feed these uh, kitties because it is uh, feeding time for them and the dog. That's why you hear the dog click, click, clicking around. Anyway, before I spin you around, do you mind? Before I spin you around, if this is your jam, go ahead and do the thumbs up and like the video. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. <laughs> That's exciting. I know. And comment down below. Comment down below if you had an island, what would you paint it? And do you agree with me repainting it? The wrought iron, there was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't mm, as deep as I wanted it to be. I wanted it, a it to be a little bit deeper. That's why I went with jet black. I am going to feed these fur babies right now before they uh, raise a, uh, uh, a ruckus and get the zoomies and I won't be able to control them. Anyway, I will see you in the next video when hopefully we will get the countertops in soon and finish up this kitchen. I can't wait. Bye guys. I'll see you in the next video.